In the last uh, several weeks, we have seen all over this nation people take to the streets to protest police misconduct. And the reactions to those protests often involved additional misconduct. Now, we've, we've seen currently situations where the Trump administration is responsible for problems in Portland, Oregon, where people's constitutional rights are being trampled. But it's not just coming from those quarters. In reaction to the protests in New York City, the city administration, the city police, and a city judge decided it was OK to detain people for longer than 24 hours without charging them. Now, that is a front to our very basic constitutional principles of habeas corpus that someone should not be detained and lose their freedom without even being accused of a crime. And somehow, an individual judge decided to make a blanket exception for everyone who was arrested as part of these protests to allow them to be detained for days and days at a time. This bill would stop that. It would return us to a, a norm that we thought we had, which is someone needs to be charged within 24 hours or be released upon request. If there's going to be an exception, it needs to be individualized for a specific reason, not one that applies to thousands of people uh, just because the courts are busy at that moment. Uh, and so this is an important piece of legislation. It was actually a standard we thought we had in place before this court decision. Uh, and now we will codify that that's the fact so that we don't have to allow a rogue judge to uh, allow hundreds and hundreds of people to be held uh, for days without being charged. So I want to thank my colleagues for uh, voting in support of this legislation, and I vote in the affirmative.